When it comes to boxing, the most important thing technique-wise is movement. And the key to successful movement is footwork. And in today's video, I will demonstrate you all fundamental footwork techniques that we use in Eastern European boxing school to dominate in the ring. Let's get straight into it. In boxing, you're never static. And even when you remain at one spot, you move. And we will begin with the movement at one spot in frontal stance. So stay in your frontal stance or square stance and start moving. To do this, you will need to slightly transfer your body weight from one foot to another. You lift your heels off the ground when you uh, transfer your body weight and then you slightly rotate your hips, heels and shoulders. And this is how you move at one spot in frontal stance. Then from this position, you can move forward and backwards. And it will be very similar how you walk just in daily life. But in this case, you will keep your hands up, remain in frontal stance, and you will move your shoulders and step with your feet. And backward, it will look like this. So I move my uh, right shoulder forward and my left foot forward. And vice versa. And then I move backwards. And also I transfer my body weight from one foot to another so I don't go in straight wide and my head moves like this. So yeah, this is how you move in frontal stance, forward, backward, and at one spot. And before you say that is pointless, I want to share with you where you can use it. First of all, from this position, you will throw the cross this way and in fighting stance, you will throw it basically the same way. Then it is very useful to teach you attacking while moving backwards. So you will use it for this as well. And the third thing is when you use it in combinations, especially when you're a shorter guy and you need to chase your opponent, you do a sweep and you use this footwork to quickly cut the distance and hit him hard. And so you understand what I'm talking about. I'm gonna demonstrate this with my partner right now. <laughs> you can see that with this type of footwork, I can quickly chase him and hit him. But if I were to use the matching footwork, when I do sweep, then do this footwork, I wouldn't chase him and it would look like this. I wouldn't reach him. So I use the switched footwork, which I learned in the front of stance. So that's how you use it. And now let's move to the movement in fighting stance. And in the fighting stance, you can also move at one spot and in all directions. So, to start moving at one spot, get in your fighting stance and slightly start to transfer your body weight by lifting your feet off the ground with your toes hitting the ground first and then press your heel. But because moving like this would be wrong, so you have to hit with your toes and then your heel. And it will look like this. This is how you transfer your body weight. At the long range, you will move in and out, like in a straight line, in and out here. Then at the middle range, you will move a little more like a diagonal. So like this. And at the close range, you would move to the sides. You take steps and you rotate your shoulders and transfer your body weight. So that's how you move at one spot in the fighting stance. And important moment, you don't keep your upper body static like this. Your shoulders also move. When I go forward, I can move both of my hands forward and then backwards. And it will look like this at the long range. At the middle range, I would move my hands with my legs separately. So it wouldn't go like this, it would go like this. So my upper body is mobile, I can change direction and engage my core to move my head. And at the close range, I keep my hands static so I don't get hit. So three different types of moving your hands together, separately, and keeping them static. And now let's talk how you can move forward, backward, and to the sides in the fighting stance. So get in your fighting stance, start moving at one spot, and then take step with your lead foot, and then bring your rear foot closer. Like one, two, one, two. And then to go backwards, I would go with my rear foot, then bring my lead foot closer. Like this, and I don't, go with my whole foot together so I am not completely flat-footed and I don't go with my heel first. I go with my toes 
first and then I press my heels. That's very important because it will make you quicker and just better overall at boxing. And important moment, if I take like 20 centimeters or eight inches with my uh, lead foot step, then I will do the same length step with my rear foot. So I don't take this long step and then this long step with my rear foot because you can see that I will be off balance and I don't cross my feet, never. Okay, so you take steps with the same length. You go backwards, you go forwards, and to the sides, you go with the left foot first. If you want to go to the left, and then you bring your right foot. And if you go to the right, right, left, right, left. That's basically how you move in fighting stance at one spot, at different ranges, and forward and to the sides. And for example, if I want to go forward and to the left, I would do four steps, one, two, three, four. And backward and to the right, it would one, two, three, four. Slower, it will look like this one, two, three, four. Right, left, right, left. And faster, it will look like this. And if I want to go forward and to the right, I would go left, then diagonal step with my rear foot, and then I would bring my left foot to the starting position. So I change my position, but I remain in my stance. And to go backwards, I would go my right foot, then diagonal step with my left foot, and bring my rear foot back to the starting position. So it will look like this. And this is how I move in a square. So I can go like this, then like this, then like this, and like this. That's how you move forward or backward and to the sides. And now I'm gonna demonstrate where you can use this footwork with my partner, Zalitai. And so you understand where you can use this. I will ask my partner to try to get out of the corner. And for example, he wants to go this way. Then I will use the L step. Basically, I move back and then to the right. And I will cut off his escape route. So I can charge him and he can't escape. And for example, from this position, he wants to go there. Then I will use this footwork. I would go forward and to the left. And in the same way, you can do this footwork. For example, he once again wants to go here, and I use this footwork. Or he wants to go here, I use this footwork. When I go forward and to the right, or backward and to the left. That's how you use this kind of steps. Arsha. From this point, we're gonna consider more complicated moves, and the first one will be pivot. And let's practice it in the frontal stance. So get in your stance and then imagine that someone took a hammer and nailed your big toe on the left foot to the ground. So you can uh, lift your left heel, but you can't lift your toes. Then transfer your body weight to the left foot toes, uh, lift off your heel, and then pivot your right foot back. And then from this position, load your left foot once again and pivot forward and just drill this move. You go forward, backward. Then you drill in the same way your right foot. So backward, forward. Imagine that you're drawing a circle with your foot, for example. I go like this. I draw like half a circle, quarter of a circle, I'm sorry, like this. And then from here. Once you drill these progressions, you move to the second progression. And it will be once again in the frontal stance. So you take a diagonal step to the left. So I go forward and slightly to the left. Then I rotate my right shoulder forward. I keep my hands up. And then I pivot my right foot backward like this. OK, once again, diagonal step, rotate my right shoulder. And then I draw quarter of a circle with my right foot. Then I can do this to the right as well. Diagonal step, rotating my left forward door forward, and then drawing a circle and making pivot. Okay, that was our second progression. And the third progression will be in the fighting stance. So you get in the fighting stance, then you do this diagonal step, move your head over the center line, keep your hand up, loading your toes, and then you draw a circle. 
and that's how I pivot for 45 degrees. And also I can pivot to the 90 degrees, like this. That's how you pivot your right foot backward. Also you can do pivot forward, but from this position it will be a little more complicated. You take a step forward and to the right, so pay attention to this line. I overstep it, and then from here I bring my uh, right foot forward. So I go like this. And that was 90 degrees angle, and here is 45 degrees angle. Also you can pivot your left foot backward. For example, I do a slip here, and then I pivot this foot backward. So yeah, those are all the progressions that you need to practice this footwork move, and let's go through them once again. So just stay in front of stance and do this. Then do a slip in the front of stance and do this. After that, in the fighting stance, this progression, and then this move. And from here, you also can do a slip to the right and pivot this foot back. That's basically all the most common variations of pivots, and now I'm gonna explain where you can use them. And the first scenario when you can use them is, for example, when you want to create an angle in your attack. For example, I hit my opponent, then I do a slip, I create an angle, and I'm in a good position to continue my attack because he will not be protected from all sides. So yeah, use it to create angle in your attack. And then also it's very good to exit from your attacks. For example, I throw a combination, then I do slip pivot, and I can just move off him and I will be safe. Then for example, I'm on ropes right here, and my opponent is charging me and he's throwing his jab. I move here and I go here to the center of the ring and once again, I am safe. And the last scenario will be when my opponent wants to create an angle, so he creates an angle and I don't want to give up my position, so I just pivot in one spot so he can't hit me where I am vulnerable. And if he goes here, I will just move like this. And now I'm, we're gonna demonstrate all this uh, with my partner. Get inside my man. So this is how you create an angle in your attack. So once again, jab, then slip, and from here, I can hit him hard because he's in a vulnerable position. Then I can use it to exit from my attacks. For example, I throw a combination, then he hits me with the hook. The hook is oh. okay. <laughs> He throws the hook, I do roll, and I exit and move off him. Then I can do the same to exit to the other side. For example, I go one, two, he throws hook, and then I pivot this foot, and I can move to the center of the ring. Then, for example, I'm on ropes, and he wants to hit me, for example, he throws it across, and I would just go here, and then to the safe place. And if he goes with the jab, I would go here, and from here I can either attack him, or move to the safe place. And the last uh, scenario is when he tries to create an angle, for example, he creates an angle, and I just go like this, so he doesn't hit me here, and he, if he goes this way, I would just go like this. Yeah, that's basically when you use pivots. And now let's move to the weight shifts. And the weight shift is the move that you use to create angles really fast. You can see Lomachenko doing it all the time. And the name weight shift I created by myself. I don't know if it's a proper name and maybe people use other ways to call it, but I'm gonna use this term. And here is how you learn this move. So at first start in your frontal stance, and then you take a diagonal step forward, like we did with the pivot. You rotate your uh, right shoulder forward and step with your left foot. And from here, I'm gonna uh, turn my short shoulders, I'm gonna rotate them, and I'm gonna replace my feet. So this foot will go somewhere here, and this foot will go at place of my left foot. And it will look like this. And I will create an angle really fast. So it will look like this. And I can do this to the other direction. So step forward and slightly to the right. From here, I'm rotating my shoulders, I'm engaging my core, and I'm replacing my feet. And from here, I'm in a good position 
to throw a very loaded punch. So that's your first progression. Just try to do these steps, like slips to both sides, and from here, try to create angles. Well, and our second progression will be in the fighting stance. So get in your fighting stance, do diagonal step to the left with a slip, rotate your shoulders, and now I'm gonna rotate them and replace my feet. Yeah, and it will look like this. And to do this to the other side, I'm gonna move my rear foot further than my lead foot. So I will like overstep it and I will, will go further. And from here, I would rotate my shoulders and replace my feet. So to here, I keep my stance, but here I break my stance I, and I move like in the frontal stance. And from here, I throw very loaded punch. And basically, those are your progressions. So at first, just do this slips, then do slip and create an angle to both sides. Then do this to the left in your fighting stance or to the right if you're in Southpaw, and then do this to the right in the orthodox stance and move like this. So yeah, that's basically how you perform it. And now let me show you where you can use it with my partner. And you use this weight shift at offensive scenarios. For example, at the long range, he throws his cross, I go here, and then I replace my feet, create an angle, and hit him with a combo from a good position. And to go to the other side, I will go with this foot further, so it will go here. And from here, I would create an angle, and you can see that I'm in a good position to hit him. And then I can use also this footwork move in between my punches. For example, I grow from the long range, I hit him. Then from here, for example, I can even keep my hand here to blind his vision, and then create an angle, and he doesn't expect me to hit his liver and jaw from that angle. And in the same way, I can go here. Yeah, that's how you use weight shifts to destroy your opponents. And before I show you the last footwork move, I'm gonna let you know that this video lesson is a part of the KO Boxing Package, which is my training program that I created for people who want to go from complete beginner to an advanced boxer. Check the first link in the description. And our last footwork move will be the side step. You can see, Canelo doing it all the time, and I also did this for the intro of this video. And it looks like this. And here is how you learn it. The first progression will be stay in your frontal stance and just do steps to the side and move your head over the center line. So you just move like this. Then the second progression will be starting rotating your heel to the side and shoulder. So it will look like this. And you also keep your hand up to block incoming punch just in case. So that's how look the second progression. And from here, you will go this way and then bring this foot to the starting position. And it will look like this. Rotating my heel, my shoulder, and then bringing this foot back to the frontal stance. And I create a 90 degree angle this way and this way. The next progression will be in the fighting stance. So you stay like this, then do step and load your foot and move your head off the center line. Then you start rotating your shoulders and heels to the side, for example, to the left. I rotate my shoulder, I rotate my heel to the side and keep my hand up. And then to this side. Here and here. And then the last progression will be doing this and then bringing this back foot to the starting position. So rotating my heel, rotating my shoulder and bringing my rear foot. And then to this side in the same way here and then bring this foot. Yeah, that's basically how you do the side step. And also you can practice with, with movement. You move at one spot and then you do the side step. And then you keep moving and you do the side step to the other side. And now I'm gonna demonstrate when you can use side steps with my partner. For example, I see that he's preparing a punch 
I see that he's uh, going with the cross, and I can go here, and I'm in a safe position. And also, if he goes with his lead hand, I can go this way. You can also throw punches with this side step. For example, he goes at me, and I go to the side and hit him simultaneously. And for example, he goes with his lead hand, and I can go to the right and hit him. That's how you use side steps. And basically, that's the end of this video. Please make sure to be subscribed to learn more from me and stay sharp.